British Ambassador to the Lao PDR, Philip Malone, on Tuesday hosted a reception on the occasion celebrating the official birthday of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom. According to the Ambassador, the gathering is not only aims to strengthen cooperation between the two countries, but also to develop relationship with people after the reopening of the British Embassy in Vientiane in 2013. Our news team, Kamdi Bunjalun, has the atmosphere there. It has been 30 years since we last hosted a Queen's birthday party at this residence. Speaking at the gathering were attended by Minister of Planning and Investment Somdi Duangdi, Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Sunton Sanyachak, diplomatic corps and British expatriates. British Ambassador to the Lao PDR Philip Malone said, the Queen's birthday is an official celebration of British people in the United Kingdom and around the world, and the main official celebration is organized annually in June at Buckingham Palace in central London, where British people, the Queen and her royal family watch a military parade mostly called Trooping the Colour. The British ambassador also expressed his utmost appreciation and thanks to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, how Her Majesty paid the important role to serve the national and population. And I'm really proud and privileged to have the honour of hosting tonight's event and to be able to bring this house back into service as the British ambassador's residence in Vientiane. He also said adding that the reception is also an opportunity to showcase famous Britain with displays by British organizations that are working in the Lao PDR and videos showing various aspects of United Kingdom. That's why we've been investing in our relationship with your country, sending more diplomats to your region, increasing cooperation on education and science. It's why we opened a new embassy in Laos to make us one of the very few European countries represented in every ASEAN country. According to the ambassador, Laos and the UK established diplomatic relations on September 5, 1955. The original UK embassy to Laos was closed 27 years ago and moved to a base in Bangkok, Thailand. But in late 2012, the government of Laos and the UK agreed to reopen embassies in each country's capital city. For us, this year is particularly special because we've recently taken back this house, the, uh, the residence of the British ambassador, which we've owned since the 1950s. And it's the first time we've held, hold, held the Queen's birthday party at the residence in about 30 years. So it's, so it's a really uh, important event for us this evening and I'm really pleased so many people have come to enjoy the festivities with us. There are many areas in which Britain and its people are making a contribution to development in Lao PDR, such as in UXO clearance, child nutrition, health, business and education. Yeah, well, I think, I think it's been a very, very good year. Um, the first, my first six or seven months here, we were really just setting up the embassy. But for the last year, we've been able to start doing a lot of work in a number of areas. Uh, for example, on the, in our political consultations between uh, the UK and Lao governments, we've, we've, we've agreed a, a, a structured framework to have regular discussions about foreign policy issues of mutual interest. Uh, we're also seeing quite a, an increase in trade between the UK and Laos, uh, particularly Lao exports to the UK, which have been increasing quite considerably. And I've been working a lot with British companies to try and encourage them to come into the Lao market and to invest here. Uh, we've also been working on a number of areas of very specific bilateral cooperation, uh, particularly some rather difficult cross-border security issues like child protection and human trafficking uh, and also illegal wildlife trafficking. And uh, we hosted an important conference in London earlier this year on illegal wildlife trafficking, which was attended by uh, Dr. Parisak, the Deputy Minister of uh, Agriculture and Forestry. It is recorded that the British Embassy to Laos marked one year of diplomatic relations in Vientiane after a 27-year absence from the country. But aside from that, we've also seen quite an increase in the people-to-people -people links 
Uh, the number of British tourists coming to Laos has, has increased quite a lot over the last year, over 40,000 now coming uh, every year to Laos. And similarly, we've seen uh, quite an increase in Lao visitors to the UK. And I think that's partly because of our introduction of the visa application service here in Vientiane. Uh, and we've seen something like a 60% increase over the last year. So I think that's really positive that we're seeing more Lao people visiting the UK. Noting its many achievements and ongoing priorities since opening its gates on April 2, 2013. According to the British Embassy in Vientiane, since the reopening of the embassy, the staff of the diplomatic missions have been working to raise the profile of the UK in Laos and to cooperate with the government of Laos in a range of areas. The United Kingdom is actually made up of four different parts, England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Each of those has its own national day. So the United Kingdom as a whole does not have a national day. Um, so British embassies abroad, we use the Queen's birthday as our national day. And, and, and that's why we're celebrating today. It feels great to, to celebrate the Queen's birthday here with all the members of the British community in Vientiane. Um, and we've tried to give tonight's event a real British flavour with a British pub, uh, a Scottish whiskey bar, uh, Premier League football um, and showcasing British food and British drinks. So it, it feels great to be able to bring this to Laos and bring the British community together. The opening of the embassy in Laos is part of the UK's plan to establish embassies in all 10 ASEAN member countries, aiming to intensify trade and diplomatic relations with the group and its member states. Bye.